depending on what you enjoy most. There are many career paths for budding scientists in the sciences. If you love zoology, you could become a wildlife scientist who studies animal behavior, while a chemistry whiz could become a chemist whose research could cure disease. If you want to work in a lab one day, conduct field research, or teach the sciences, becoming a scientist can provide rewarding, exciting work experiences. If you focus on your education and look at the world as a scientist, you can set a path for your career. So, we are going to watch about the how to become a scientist. Method 1. Setting the Groundwork First is take the necessary preparatory classes in high school. Scientists in the physical sciences use a great deal of mathematics, particularly algebra calculus, and analytical geometry. All scientists need a working knowledge of statistics, too. Step 2. Start out with the basics in college. You'll need to take basic courses in biology, chemistry, and physics. You can also select elective courses based on areas of interest. In a year or two, you can commit to a more specific branch of science. Step 3. Declare a major in a field that intrigues you. If you'd like or if your college's lack of options necessitates it, you can wait to declare something more specific later, aka grad school. A general major like chemistry is fine, too. Step 4. Get an internship in college. It's best to start making connections and doing work as soon as possible. Contact one of your professors about an internship. If you want to be an environmentalist, contact the U. Fish and Wildlife Service. Finally, hone your writing skills. Read scientific journals and keep up with the field. You'll be in those journals yourself, in time. Look to their work for structure and the basics of a good scientific paper. Method 2. Getting a higher education. First is go to graduate school. Most scientists have at least a master's and more likely a doctorate. Most graduate programs take at least four years, and possibly longer, depending on the nature of the research. Step 2. Land a research internship just about anywhere. In grad school, you'll need to look for a research internship for your specific area of interest. The number of professors that are working on something that speaks to you is going to be quite small. Tap into all the connections you've made to find something that fits you like a glove. Step 3. Participate in a postdoctoral program. In addition to this, you'll be doing three or so years of postdoctorate research. It's common for scientists to go through four years of undergrad, around five years of higher education, and three years of research. Step 4. Keep your knowledge up to date. In smaller fields, and some larger ones, you'll get to know all the names in these journals. Reading them will let you know who you should ask for research help. Finally, continue researching and seek out full-time employment. After your postdoctoral research, you'll likely need a job. Here are a few of the basic opportunities you'll find. Scientists are always working on some project or idea. Method 3. Having the mindset. First is be curious. Scientists choose to become scientists because they are fundamentally curious about the world around them. This curiosity leads them to investigate the how and why behind what they see, even if the investigation takes years to come to fruition. Step 2. Be patient in climbing the career ladder. Some jobs only require a bachelor's, while others may require a master's or even a doctorate. 
if you're not in a place where you can spend a decade making a lower income. This could be a viable alternative. Step 3. Be diligent and persevere because you've landed a tough gig. It's been said that, taking IQ into account, quantitative skills, and working hours, jobs in science are the lowest paid in the US, things are going to be tough for a while. Step 4. Have the need to always keep learning. Every scientist does a seek out knowledge. Whether it's reading peer-reviewed journals or attending seminars, you'll always be learning. Finally, be patient, observant, and think outside of the box. No scientist's work is done in a day, a week, a month, and often even in a year. In many cases, like clinical trials for example, you won't get results for years. A good scientist needs to be patient. We hope it is useful to you. Please subscribe to our channel to upskill yourself.